Awesome. Thank you so much, Tina. Um, hi, everyone. I would just like to say welcome so much. Uh, and thank you so much, sorry, for being here this evening or afternoon, wherever you're calling from. Um, my name is Kim Dristel. I'm going to be your host this evening. Uh, a little bit about myself. I am from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Originally, it's a little city outside of Halifax. I have been living in snowy Newfoundland for the last eight years. Um, so that is where I'm tuning in from this evening on the East Coast. Um, and again, thank you so much for being here. These calls are for you and your team. If there's anybody that you see um, isn't here under the participants and you think they should be here, they said that they wanted to, just shoot them a quick text and let them know that we are getting started now. So if this is your first call or you're not really sure how this goes, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of why we're all here and what we're all here to do. So this call is to unite all Canadian Start Peeps. Um, they have been initiated and created by our amazing Start Canada committee. Thank you so much to that committee. Um, we are a group of, yeah, that's right, team, yeah. We are a group of young individuals on that committee um, from across Canada. Um, so recordings for this can be found on YouTube under the Start Canada channel. Uh, thank you so much, Tina, for putting up those recordings. And we get together every Sunday evening uh, to provide the tools, support, coaching, and inspiration. So your belief is a 10 out of 10 in all areas. Uh, and so you feel unstoppable at sharing this incredible gift. These calls are led by people just like you and me, uh, and we want to offer you all the opportunity to grow so let us know if there's any way we can help you um, in growing perhaps you want to get on one of these calls you want to host be a starter in the spotlight um, or even be on our star canada committee we would love to hear from you so please reach out to one of us uh, whether in the chat or personally after the call we'd love to hear from you so a little more about us we're a fired up group of individuals with a common vision to ignite all young people to own their lives physically and financially and through our contributions, create a freedom and a lasting legacy. How many of you can get excited about that? Yeah, I've been actually with this company now for about six years. And every time I hear that, every time I hear create freedom and a lasting legacy, I get like, I get all goose mumpy. I know it's kind of cliche, but it's true. So I thought I'd say it. Um, so just a little health uh, disclaimer here. Um, so we are aligned with an amazing health and wellness company, and you're going to be hearing some amazing stories of success financially um, and physically throughout this call and any other calls that you may be listening to. Uh, but we do make no claims to diagnose, prevent, treat, or cure any illness or disease. So no two bodies are the same, obviously, and so results can vary. Um, amazing things happen to our bodies when we put um, amazing food into it. Uh, and this company that we are aligned with also has a financial opportunity. But I feel so grateful to be aligned with a company that really shows that success, what you get out of it, whether it be financial or physical, is really what, um, you know, is really from what you put in. So the more effort you put in, the more effort that you will get out. Um, but we don't make any claims to, uh, or uh, sorry, for how much a person can earn. So I'd like to encourage a little bit of engagement here with the call. Um, we do have a chat there. I already see some stuff going on in it there now. Um, so if you have any questions um, or you want to point out something that somebody has said, if something has resonated with you, please show up um, and say a few words in the chat. So moving on, um, we have some phenomenal speakers tonight. I'm so excited for tonight's call. Our first speaker of this evening is going to be our starter start story in the spotlight. Um, so our starter in the spotlight is a piece we do every single Start Canada call. Um, and it's just to let us know who's in our Start Canada family. So it's a segment by a starter um, from anywhere in Canada, a little piece about them. We know that, you know, we are all storytellers. We all have our story to tell. Um, and I think that everybody's, um, everybody's story, where they started from, where they've come to now, um, will affect, if not you personally, um, somebody you know in the future. So we just wanted to broadcast the amazing stories of uh, these folks, of our associates across Canada, um, and help them work on their speaking skills as well. So without further ado, I will definitely be so excited to introduce our next speaker. Um, I'm a little biased because she's from Newfoundland as well, St. John's Newfoundland, also tuning in from where I am. Allison Marshall has been with the company for a year now. She just celebrated her Isova City. She is 27 years old and I'm so excited to hear what she has to say. So tuning in now is Allison and I will pass it over to you girl. Hello everybody. <laughs> 
Thanks for tuning in. And uh, Kim, I just want to say thank you for giving me this opportunity. This is my first time being on one of the start calls, sharing my story with everyone. So I'm really glad that you're all here. Um, well, first of all, like she said, I'm 27 years old. I was born and raised in St. John's, Newfoundland. Um, I do have a, um, a business degree from Memorial University. That's the local school here. Um, I'm currently working full time at um, a major Canadian furniture retailer at the moment, but I am very hopeful that I will be able to pursue isogenics full time because um, it's something I'm really, really passionate about. Um, basically, my story starts out about a year or so ago. Um, I was really stressed out. I was suffering from a lot of um, anxiety. Um, and I was really looking for a new product that would help me to reach some of my fitness goals. I was finding that I was struggling in the gym, I didn't have a whole lot of energy, and I was really um, struggling to get to a place that I really wanted to be. Um, so basically I felt kind of like my outside wasn't matching my inside. So I felt like I had lots of energy, but when I got to the gym I couldn't really do you know, um, all the, the reps and, and things like that that I wanted to uh, be able to do. So since I've been using the products, um, obviously I have a lot more energy, I feel like I'm sleeping better, my skin is better, um, and I just feel better in my day-to-day -day life. Um, I was introduced by um, a fellow gym goer and I felt like I had known her my whole life. So that to me was a great feeling like um, I'm getting to know people that are similar to me and have the same goals as me, so it's really, really great to be able to connect with people um, on that kind of level. Um, I'm basically here to share kind of why I'm excited to be part of the whole START movement. Um, it's something that's really important to me because they emphasize an independence. Um, at such a young age, I mean, the 18 to 35 year olds um, typically aren't thinking about retirement and you know, residual income and may, uh, ways of making um, you know, more money in their life and having more freedom. So when I heard about the START movement, especially the vision, like Kim just said, which was um, to uh, ignite people to own their lives physically, financially, and to create that freedom and a lasting legacy, that was something that was huge to me. I have a business degree, I've worked in multiple businesses, and I've never heard any kind of vision statement like that. There's so much power to it. Um, there's a lot of energy that went into it, and that was just something that was amazing to me. Um, the fact, too, that you, you can start your own business with a minimal investment, that was amazing to me because I, um, for the last few years, I've really been thinking about entrepreneurship and getting into starting my own business. So that is just, it's amazing. I love being able to connect with people around the world, like all of you, um, hearing your stories, being able to share and connect with people is just absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, you can see so many uh, transformations and whether it's your energy, your weight loss, um, people have a zest for life and it's just really great to be able to connect with people that have that similar energy to you and being able to share that is absolutely amazing. Um, I guess I can go into a little bit about um, personal development. Um, something for me that uh, really affected me was I well, um, something interesting, I actually lived in France for four months. Um, part of my schooling was I had to choose to go overseas somewhere, and I do speak French, so I decided that would be something that was very fitting. So I lived with a French family, and I really had to become independent while I was over there. I had to really um, rely on myself, I had to get my own bank account, my own phone, <laughs> all that kind of stuff, and it really taught me to, to trust myself and really to believe in myself. And um, something that I got out of that was that I could do anything. I had to, like I said, really rely on myself. I, um, I was over there, but <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. Um, yeah, I was over there by myself, but I almost actually never made it home. Um, I almost missed my flight, and there was a whole, a whole other story to that, actually. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was an amazing experience. And I'm just being able, uh, just being able to now to yeah, connect with all of you and be able to share this is, is just absolutely amazing. I do have a book actually that I wanted to share that was kind of a little pointer and it's called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. And I just started reading this uh, recently actually and I did find it on Amazon for like $13.95 and I totally recommend it. Um, something that I wanted to mention actually was since connecting with all of you and being a part of this company, um, it, it's only been a year for me but I, I can honestly say that I will um, be involved with you guys hopefully for the rest of my life and um, I'm really excited about hopefully going to celebration and maybe meeting some of you guys in person down there in Las Vegas. Not sure if everybody has heard about that, but it's really, really exciting. Um, 
yeah, so definitely go out and get this book for sure. Totally recommend it. Um, like I said, it's on Amazon. And yeah, I'm not sure what else what else I can say here. If anybody has any questions for me, um, yeah, we're actually getting a snowstorm tomorrow. So yeah, Kim, it's gonna be fun times. <laughs> we're getting like 30 centimeters of snow. So props to us. We're uh, we're some tough people here in Newfoundland. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much, Allison. Um, no problem. I'm really yeah. nervous here. So. <laughs> oh, no, you did amazing. Um, I just, you know, I connected so much with so much of what you said, obviously not just because I'm biased and I'm also a Newfoundlander complaining about the snow. Um, I love how you uh, talked about the, the zest for life that people in isogenics have. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just, you know, being, pa I think that it, it comes from, for anybody um, who's in a room full of people that are working within their passion, you really see um, the abundance of, of energy that, that folks have. Um, and, you know, it really fires us up. Does anybody else really get fired up by, you know, the energy that they feel around them? I find that, you know, we're a bunch of people who, uh, who really just... I just threw my hand, I'm sorry, who feed <laughs> off each other's energy somehow. Um, and, you know, it's, it's amazing. So thank you so much, Allison. Um, I'm so glad that you had the, the amazing results that you did. I mean, obviously, Isogenics doesn't, um, doesn't, we don't say that we cure anything. Um, but yeah, no, you've had, you've had amazing results. And thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you. <laughs> and if anyone has any questions for Allison, please, please put it in uh, the group chat. So mm -hmm. moving on, um, I want to move on now to our amazing trainer. Um, I was chatting with this amazing woman right before we started uh, the call here. So um, she's actually living in Kelowna right now, which is so exciting for me because I was actually chatting about how I'm actually looking at moving out there. Um, she originally comes from Toronto. She's now living in Cologne with her fiance and his two sons. She is going to be training on something that I'm so excited for, the Customer First Program, which I'm looking across the screens here and I'm seeing everybody's big smile on their face because I think it's going to be a total game changer for Start Canada Associates. And this amazing woman is a two-star executive, six-star Golden Circle. She started Isogenics in November 2010, and she is Isogenics Millionaire 209. So we are so incredibly lucky that she has taken the time out of her day, uh, out of her afternoon, it's probably afternoon there now, um, for, for us amazing folks uh, to listen to her story. So I would like everyone to welcome Jen Newman. I'm so excited, and I will hand the call over to you now. Oh, thanks, Kim, and great job, Allison. Yay, you guys did so good. It's awesome to be here, and um, I'm so glad that you guys have this call. It makes me really excited to know that you're coming together as a community and really facilitating this movement of what START is across Canada. I'm super proud of you guys, and thank you for inviting me for being here. Um, yeah, my story, wow, it's... Um, pinch me story, really. I, um, before Isogenics, I was a registered massage therapist. Um, I've been practicing massage and focusing on sports injury management for almost 13 years. Um, I also grew up as an athlete. So um, from age six to 17, I was a gymnast. I went to the 1992 Olympic trials and then I transitioned into triathlon. And so I've always been a fit person. So obviously nutrition has been a huge part of my life. And then as I became a healthcare practitioner, um, nutrition became even more important because I started to see how much nutrition plays a part in health. Um, and so, actually, I found Isogenics when I moved here to Kelowna, Kimberley. So, um, I was at a point in my life where I was seeing that my massage therapy job had an expiry date. <laughs> so, oh, some of you here, I know you're all super young, but for me, I was 35 years old and um, was really starting to feel the effects of the physical nature of trading my time for money, right? Um, and so I, I'd always been looking for that plan B. What else could I do to supplement my income, knowing that one day I would not be able to work physically the amount of hours that I was at that time. I dabbled in um, real estate, but as you know, it takes a lot of money to even get started in real estate, and then you'll, your return is so small. And um, when I was introduced to Isogenics, first of all, I had an incredible, incredible 
um, results physically. As an athlete, I just noticed it straight away. Um, I did my first 30 day cleanse through Christmas. I started in the end of November. And so I just jumped because there was this buzzword of cleansing in the sporting community at the time. Um, and I was curious about cleansing and just luckily I moved into my roommate with my roommate, Stacy. She had isogenics in her cupboard. And I was like, what is this? Let's do it. And so through Christmas off we went and I could not believe when I got back in the pool to train for the Apple triathlon here in Kelowna. Um, I hadn't swam in about four months. So I jumped in the pool and thought what a great time to do a third, a uh, hundred meter time swim just as a benchmark. And I swam my personal best time ever. And if any of you guys are athletes, that's a clue. <laughs> it's a clue, a, t a time that I'd worked my entire sporting community or career to get. And that's when I went, okay, as a healthcare practitioner, what is in this stuff? What is my body doing? And I started researching and looking into it. I was not interested in the business. <laughs> I was a massage therapist and I wanted to stick to doing what I knew worked. Um, however, um, I love being around people like you guys, being a part of the community. And I was attracted to the community and to the people. Um, it was the first time in my life I'd been surrounded by positive people, happy people, motivated people, people who are wanting to do bigger, better things in their lives and really create an impact. And that's what got me more curious about what isogenics was. So I started going to events. And events is what changed everything for me because I started to see what the industry of network marketing was. And what I really want started to see and what, I, what worked for me was starting to understand the industry. That's what changed everything for me. I started to look at this like a profession. So just like I'd gone to school, um, I got my degree, um, a kinesiology degree and a, a medical anthropology degree. Then I went to massage school for two full years. And then after that, I still didn't feel like a professional. I still needed to practice in the field and really perfect my skills. I started to treat isogenics the same way. I started to look at it like I needed to educate myself on how do I talk to people? <laughs> how do we share this in an effective way? How do we be inspiring? Um, do I have enough knowledge for myself about the products to believe in them fully so that I could have this unshakable belief so that when I stood in front of somebody and talked about them, even if they didn't get it yet, I could still be confident and talk to them. So having that 10 out of 10 unshakable belief in the products, in our company, in the industry of network marketing and believing in myself and believing that I could become a professional at network marketing. Um, that, that was definitely what shifted everything for me into having success. And the other piece was coming to events and meeting people who were speaking on stage. You know, you guys probably experienced this. If you've been to an event or maybe even being on these calls, you see people who are successful and you go, I could never be that person. I can never do that, right? And we all do that. But what I found was by going to events and I had a chance to get to know those people who were successful, what I found was that I was no different from them. And I started to realize that if they could do this, I could totally do this. And it was that belief piece that really fueled my fire. And with the belief, um, as well as understanding and um, knowing what this profession was, that's what fueled me forward to create my success. And I guess the biggest challenge for me was, um, was that belief in self. And um, the biggest tip I could give you guys would be to really let go of this being the getting business, right? Um, because network marketing can still be freaky deaky. <laughs> and that's what we, I want to inspire all of you as our young community to be the start of really showing people what this industry is. I'd love for you guys to go out into the world and to really show our other young people that this is the other way. This is the new way. This is the new lifestyle, right? Times have changed. <laughs> Things don't work the old way, doesn't work anymore. And you guys are smart enough to be here and knowing that this is the new way. And so 
what I'd love for you guys to go out there and to just be the new example of what network marketing can be. Be kind. Be connecting with people authentically, right? Know that you are having conversations with people because you're looking for people who are looking for us. Not everybody needs isogenics. Not everybody needs network marketing, but there are people who are looking for us but don't know that we exist. They don't know that network marketing exists. I didn't know it existed. And I was looking for that plan B because I knew that with my profession, even though I loved it, I couldn't do it forever. So we wanna be, we wanna be out there educating the world, informing the world. And when you hear of somebody who has an objection to what we do, that's your opportunity. That's your opportunity to educate people to show them that this is the new way and ask that question. If I was able to show you that this may be a solution for you, would you take a look at it? So the piece I'd love to help you guys to get away from that, con uh, from that getting business is to use this, well, first connect with people authentically, knowing that you're just interviewing them. You're interviewing them to see if they're looking for you or they're looking for the solutions that Isogenics has. And then the phrase I love to bridge that gap between a conversation of connecting and just showing them Isogenics is if I, fill in the blank, would you? So if I, would you, if I was introduce you to somebody who is exactly where you were two years ago, would you be interested in meeting them? Because they have found a solution and have completely changed their life. If I was set to send you a video that would show you a little bit more about this community that I'm aligned with, would you watch it? If I was to introduce you to an incredible community on a call that happens, would you come on and take a look? So the, if I would you, I love it because it really takes the getting out of it and you're ask, asking them if they're even open to taking a look. And I find that that for me has just allowed this to be this organic, beautiful conversation where I actually talk to people because I'm interested in making a difference in their life, not because I want their credit card. <laughs> and that is a big, big difference. So um, in closing, what I really wanted to train on you guys tonight, with you guys tonight, is our new amazing Customer First program. And how that really fits into this piece is really understanding what our company is about and really understanding that our company is built on integrity. And I've been lucky enough on one personal time with Jim and Kathy and Eric even John Anderson, all of the amazing people who started this company. And the one thing I can tell you about them as people, <laughs> as human beings, is they're integrous. And this entire customer first program is just another example of that. And I love the fact that we, they've launched this and I wanted to, I'm not gonna necessarily train on it tonight, but I just want you guys to be really aware of why this has been launched and how it's going to make a positive difference in our company. Um, so there's three reasons really why the customer first program is launched. The first one is to really help reach more people because that's what we're about, right? We just know that these products can make an incredible difference in a lot of people's lives and so can the opportunity. So it's the whole customer first program is designed to reach and help more people. Um, second of all, is to make the en enrollment process more simple, right? So it's basically been designed just like Amazon. Go to a website, point and click, order what you want, it's shipped to your door. Simple. So it's going to align with what people are already used to in terms of buying a product they love. And lastly, and it's probably the most important piece is um, to protect the opportunity um, and kind of what I've been saying already is network marketing still has a bit of a stigma right and so this whole customer first program is to make sure that we're protecting the program or we're protecting the industry we're protecting our company um, and as you probably know there are companies that have done things then we were we're looking ahead so you have to see that our company is so um, forward thinking that we're already protecting ourselves to prevent anything bad from happening to our company. So three incredible reasons why we've launched this. Um, it's going to make things simpler. We're going to attract more people. We're going to reach more people. Because the one thing I want you guys to really understand is 
How many times have you heard somebody say to you, oh, I just want to try the shake, right? I don't, I don't want to pay a membership fee. I don't want to commit. I just want to know if the shake tastes good, right? Has anybody heard that from someone? <laughs> yeah. Right? So what about, have you ever heard somebody say, I don't want to give you my social, oh, that's in the States, right? So social insurance for the Americans, you have to give their social security number, which can be a really tricky thing to ask for. Luckily in Canada, we don't have to do that. So if there are friendly Americans, it's making things a lot easier. Um, so really what it's doing is just giving another way for people to get started, and especially for the Stark community, right? How many times do you guys hear, I can't afford that? That's probably, I'm gonna guess, the number one objection you guys get. Am I right? <laughs> right, so this is gonna give people who are financially challenged right now an opportunity to get started just by trying the products as a customer, right? So we can now have another way to say, great, I'd love for you just to try the product, get started as a customer, and we'll go from there. So it's a great, great introduction for those people who are not even looking at the business, for somebody who just wants to transform their health. What about people who are still in school, right? The one thing I really love about your community is I would love, does anybody heard the phrase, Freshman 15, even though we're Canadians, right? Imagine freshman 15 wasn't about putting on 15 pounds anymore, but we could actually help students live on a budget of eating healthy. Imagine that. So I would love for you guys to go out there and show people that they can eat healthy. They can be healthy and afford to eat healthy. They don't have to survive off Mr. Noodle and craft dinner anymore, right? Having a shake is much cheaper even. So um, I would love for you guys to really think of that. So I want you to understand that you can learn all about the Customer First program online. I love that about our company. So you can go to isogeniccustomerfirst.com. So isogeniccustomerfirst.com, I highly, highly encourage you to go there. Incredible tools that are gonna teach you. So go there, learn it, read the Q&A. That's where all your questions are gonna get answered. Amazing webinars there. You can even go to Isogenics Business Facebook page. Eric Coover did an incredible Facebook Live there. It's gonna explain everything to you. The piece I wanted to leave you guys with is that it's just, it's just gonna simplify enrollment process for people. So even when they get started as a customer, their website looks different. So they're going to go, they're not going to see our genealogy or our tree anymore. So they're not going to be confused and get put off because it looks businessy and network markety. They're just choosing their products, ordering it, it's being shipped to their door. Is that not cool? Right? Um, and as consumers, it's really catering to that conditioning that we have around free stuff around coupons because as customers instead of getting cash they're getting coupons for product so what person doesn't want coupons we're used to coupons we're used to buying product and getting coupons we're used to being offered free shipping right so it's really catering to those kinds of things um, so really what what we really recommend is don't change what you're doing keep doing what you're doing right um, but now knowing that there's three other ways to help people get started if they have those cost objections or they just wanna taste a product and they wanna dabble. There's so many dabblers. We know like 83% of the people who get started in Isogenics, and I'm sure most of you on this call were, got started with a product. So this is just another way to help people try our product, dip their toe in, be a dabbler, if that's what they want to do. So still gets people started the way you normally have been, but for those people who have that big block that are really putting the brakes on or just aren't ready, the customer first program is for them. So just in closing, because I know I'm trying to be conscious of my time, <laughs> um, just know that now we've got three different levels, right? So there's retail pricing, which is the most expensive, right? And then you've got, there's a good and a better and a best way to get started when you're looking at our customer first program. So the good is a customer. 
So basically the customer is that person who doesn't want to pay a membership fee. They just want to try a shake maybe. Maybe they just want to buy hand cream. Maybe they just want to try the bars. Maybe they just need and recover because they're an athlete and they don't want to drink Gatorade anymore. <laughs> so this is a great way for that person to get started. They'll still get 10% off retail, right? But it's a great way to get started. It's a good way to get started. It's just good. Okay, and they're the people that are going to look in their back or not even have a back office. They just get started. Then, if they're willing to pay a membership fee, they're going to save even more. And this is where we move into the better. So it's better if they pay a $39 membership fee, right? They're going to get 25% off retail. Pretty cool, right? So just like any other rewards program, you pay a membership fee, you get a discount off full price. This is a, a great option, right? So $39, 25% off. Then our best option, and this is the option that's really setting people up and showing them that this is a lifestyle, right? They're going to want to be ordering product. So they're still paying a membership fee, but it's only $29. So they save $10 on the membership fee, still have 25% off their retail, but now they have an auto ship program. So they're getting their product every single month and they're a part of our auto ship rewards program, which means their first three auto ships have free shipping. That is the best, right? Would you not agree? Yeah, it's the best way to help somebody get started. So it's a great way of just looking at it as good, better, best way of somebody to get started who has their hand up, who's not ready to commit. right? And we're just going to educate them about, Hey, if you, pay a small membership fee, you're gonna get huge savings. And obviously, the preferred customer is the best way to go, absolutely. So $29 annual membership fee, 25% off, and their first three auto ships get free shipping. So that's a great offer, right? A lot of people won't say no to that. This is really, really good. So I'm just gonna refer you back to isogenicscustomerfirst.com. Check out the Q&A, watch the webinars, watch the videos. You can even watch what the um, customer website's gonna look like. Very different from when they decide to go associate. All they have to do is click a button, watch a six minute video, and it's done. And if they haven't paid their membership fee, they pay their membership fee. That's it, that's over. And they can do that anytime, 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 anytime. So there's lots of things I could share about this, this program, but Kim, I don't wanna take up any more time. <laughs> so I hope that helps. I hope that I can inspire you guys as our young people. You are the word of the future. Please go out there and inspire people to live this new lifestyle of health and wealth and happiness and freedom. You've got a gift. Please, 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 please share this with every single person that you meet. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Jen. Guys, how great was Jen on that call? Oh, I, the, the chat was just absolutely blowing up. Every time you said something, it was like six people were like, she's speaking <laughs> to me. She is speaking to me. Um, I have like, I have an entire notebook full. I just have pages um, writing down things you said. I love when you were talking about events. So many people resonate with that, I think. How many people here have found that they went to an event and it changed everything? You know, I know for me, I grew up in an ISA family. My whole family uses isogenics. I thought everyone else was nuts. I went to an event and I was like, oh my gosh, it's not just my family. Like, it's not just my mom. It's, you know, other people do this as well and they're amazing and here I am today. So I completely, completely get that. Um, you know, customer first, there's, you know, there's so many, so many amazing things to the program. I just learned so much and I'm so excited to, to incorporate that into my business as well. Um, we have a little bit of time actually, so I just want to open it up to anybody. If anybody wants to um, unmute themselves and ask Jen a question um, about something she said earlier um, or, or the customer first program, I'm sure she'd be able to help you out. So I'll open up the floor now for if there's any questions and I'll take a look at the chat too to see if anybody, uh, if anybody can't jump on, I'll take a look and see in the chat if there's anything there. Hey guys, don't be shy. We have like an ISA millionaire on our call here with us. And so pick her brain on anything because it's a beautiful brain that fits in this beautiful head that's got so much in it. <laughs> so ask away. 
I have a question. Yes, is that um, Taylor? Hi. Hi. <laughs> when you got started with Isogenics, like you were in for the products, but when you started doing the business, like what were your initial thoughts? Like were you like scared or like uncertain or just what were you thinking when you originally started the business? Great question. So I I didn't really start building a business for two years. I just used the product for two whole years. And part of that was because I kept falling back on what I knew worked, which was being a massage therapist. It's scary to step away from what you already know, right? It's easy and comfortable to stay where you know it works. But, you know, what's stopping us from having a great life is having a good life. And so I started to really see the challenges of my life as I started stepping into the world of isogenics and going to events and seeing what was available outside of my little bubble. And so um, I had to have the courage to step out of what was easy and comfortable and allow myself to be a complete disaster and do everything wrong. <laughs> and know that my mistakes were my learning points. And when I did something not quite right, I would just say, okay, what am I gonna do differently next time? Rather than beating myself up about it. And that allowed me to grow into this business rather than coming into it feeling like I needed to know everything from day one. So yeah, absolutely, I was scared. <laughs> I was afraid of failing. Um, I didn't believe that I could be a leader. I didn't believe I could do network marketing. I didn't believe, you know, I had that whole, I don't do sales. I'm a healthcare practitioner. Tons and tons of objections that could have stopped me. But instead, through my education and through reading and learning and listening to podcasts and going to events, I just, I educated myself into a yes. <laughs> That's really what I did. And just being present and going to events and getting to know people. I've read every book, listened to every podcast. Um, and what I found was just listening to podcasts of people who came before me. Eventually, what I, went in my ear came out my mouth. And I just became a parrot. And I just repeated what everybody has done before me. I didn't reinvent the wheel. And that was easy for me to know that I didn't have to make it up. I didn't have to create it. I just had to duplicate. Just do what works. Kathy Coover <laughs> knows what she's doing. Just do what she set up for us to do. If you do it and not just think you can do it, but actually go and do it, you will succeed. You absolutely will. Hope that answers your question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Thanks so much. Awesome, thank you so much for that question. We have one in the chat from Nicole. She asks, did you talk to your clients about isogenics? And if you did, how did you approach that? No, that's a really good question. Um, I actually got advice from Kyle McCrash on this because I didn't know in the beginning. I remember being at a university in action and Kyle was there. And at that time, he was one of like, those people on the pedestal. And I was terrified to go up to him and talk to him. And now he's one of my best friends. <laughs> it's amazing with this company, right? Um, but I remember asking him, Kyle, how do I talk to my clients? And he was brilliant because this, this was really a light bulb moment for me because what it showed me, he said, Jen, just work it into your client interview. So as a healthcare or as a massage therapist, the first thing we do is invite somebody into our treatment room, we sit them down and we ask them a series of questions to find out what their problem is so that I could formulate a treatment plan and then I treat them, right? I can't just put somebody on my massage table and massage them without asking them what's wrong. <laughs> so he said, just work it into that interview. So when someone comes in, you start asking, what are your other health goals, right? So I started asking more questions about their health, their wellness, their lifestyle. What are they eating at home? Are they exercising? I started asking more lifestyle questions rather than massage therapy specific questions, right? Um, and the light bulb moment came when I realized Oh my goodness, isogenics is no different from what I've been doing as a massage therapist. I actually just interview people and ask great questions to understand what they're looking for. And when I know what they're looking for, I match it to a solution in isogenics. That's exactly what I did as a massage therapist. And so we have to become master askers, as David Wood would say, right? Really becoming good. And that's a, that's a skill in itself. 
developing the skill of asking great questions to understand fully what somebody is looking for. And when you connect to what they're looking for and their need and their pain point, they are absolutely going to run to their computer to look at this, or they're absolutely going to want to jump on a call with somebody that day or go to coffee and some about lifestyle. And then saying, hey, if I was able to show you, would you take a look? That is that's amazing. That is a great answer i saw there was a need with so many people the heads were just bobbing up and down and i was looking through when i was looking through uh folks screens so um there are two more questions i have here um one is for myself um wondering if customers count towards consultants and rank advancements customers yes now with the new customer first program this is an incredible Incredible question. So in, in terms of becoming a consultant or helping your people become consultant, this is what's one of the like goosebump moments, as you said, Kim, start of the call of the customer first program is that your customers volume of product that they're ordering are going to count towards your rank advancements of becoming a consultant or creating consultants. So now, even if so, for example, you're ordering 100 PV, and then you have somebody on your right leg, let's say they order 100 PV, and then somebody on your other leg, maybe they only order 50 PV because they just want a couple shakes. And then another customer orders 50 PV because they just want shakes. Now you have 100 PV on one leg, 100 PV on the other, and you have 100 PV. That is enough to go consultant and all with customers. So, is that like light bulbs? Like how many more people are you going to be able to help get to consultant, which is going to help you rank advance to manager, director, and executive. Is that not cool? I think that's a total game changer for start because we've talked in our calls about how the price objection is so, so difficult sometimes with college students and it's super valid. You know, when you're going through college, you don't have a whole lot of extra money, especially if you're already paying into a meal plan. So, I feel so I feel so lucky that we're aligned with a company that actually did that because they did not have to do that for us and they did do that. I have one more question here from the amazing Morgan and she asks, as a healthcare practitioner, how would you suggest approaching somebody in the health and medical field about the opportunity with that Oh, that's a great question. And I'll first say that Anybody in a health profession is going to have a lot of objections and they're going to put their hand up, right? Um, and there's a lot of good reason for that. A, we have a responsibility to our clients and our patients. And B, we have a lot of people come to us and say, oh, this is the new best thing, right? A lot of things cross our desk where it's the new best. So it gets frustrating. Um, so my, my, I always suggest to connect anybody who is in the healthcare profession, offer to introduce them to someone else who's in isogenics that's in the same profession and have them share their own story. So you would have chiropractor and isogenics talking to new chiropractor who's looking. So they can talk chiro speak and you can have that chiropractor who is objecting isogenics share how they moved away from their objections and why they ended up saying yes and how they created success. So it's linking like-minded people together. So, cause if you're not a healthcare practitioner or maybe even you are, connect them to another healthcare practitioner so they can hear it from somebody other than you. Hear it from somebody who's had gone through the objections um, and found success so that they can speak each other's speak. That's always my, my biggest advice. Or use a podcast if they're not willing to get on a call or meet somebody. Find a great podcast that you can share with them. So um, isogenicspodcast.com is amazing for that. Um, I know our team calls, I try to do that and I save them so that um, I can plug people in. Hey, listen to this when you've got 30 minutes. You're going to love this guy. This is who he is. And I think you're really going to resonate with their story. Sorry, my dog. Can, <laughs> can I add one thing to that? Do you want, is it okay? I love yeah. that. And thank you, Jen. And it's so true. You know, people relate. And that's why we have, we love that you guys are sharing all your stories on here because you can support each other if you've got someone who relates. 
the one thing that, you know, I was a healthcare professional and I did know what to do to take care of myself, but I'm also a human being who was in a really bad place. And so just remember that when you're reaching out to healthcare people, you know, they're, they're moms, they're busy, they're dads, they're, you know, they're running businesses. And a lot of times people that work in healthcare take better care, just like everyone else, take better care of everyone else, you know, except for themselves. So that's where the connection piece and really getting to know them and why this would be so helpful for them. Because if I hadn't been so broken, I was, I'd said no for seven years because I wasn't at that place. And it was at that place where nothing I knew to do was working for me that I was finally open. So just keep that in mind too, that it doesn't mean that they have to be breaking down, but there's got to be something in their life that, you know, they may not be on the path that they want to be on because they're, you know, they're working split shifts. They're, you know, like Jen says, their hands are starting to give out, like, who knows? So connect on that personal piece too, and then have people who can also relate to them from the professional aspect um, as well. That's what I would throw That's an incredible mind. point. You're absolutely right. And most healthcare people are, and that was my biggest wake up call when I started practicing massage again here in Kelowna was being back in a clinical setting and have been introduced to isogenics at that point, but still not really on board. But going back into the clinical setting and watching my fellow massage therapists overworked, underpaid, undernourished, stressed out. And I'm like, we're helping people be healthy? This does not match. And that's, that's such a great point, Tina. Such a great point. Thank you so much, Tina and Jen. This has been a phenomenal call. Thank you so much, everybody who has written in the chat and asked questions. Um, engagement from everybody is so important. And I know that when you ask a question, there's probably five or six other people who were thinking the exact same thing and who were too nervous um, to speak up or weren't able to. So I think everyone who did that, I know I'm definitely going to be staying up a bit later tonight than I probably should. It's already 1030 here um, to be learning more about customer first. This is a phenomenal program. I, like I said earlier, I'm so grateful to be with a company who is really does have their associates in mind and you can tell that with every new thing that they roll out. So I'm so happy for that. Um, now, normally at this part in the call, we would go to our 90 day game plan segment, which is Charlotte but she actually is traveling the world right now. So she's unable to hop on. She doesn't have internet. I'm not sure where she is now. Um, every time I feel like I speak to her, she's in a different country or a different state. Um, the, the magic of network marketing is it allows you to do that from wherever you are. So I would like everybody, if they can, to stay on the call for one more minute. Um, every time we have um, we have a call, Tina hops on, and she does a screenshot. So we'll get ready for the screenshot there in one second. Um, I just want everyone, again, thank everyone for, for being here tonight and for taking time, especially the trainers. I know how busy everyone is. And next week, next week's call, the Star Canada Committee blew up. We we're so excited. We have Elvie Shepard on next week's call as a our trainer. Um, everyone loves Elvi. It's Elvi. How can you not love Elvi? So he's going to be on the call. That is April 9th. Our call is 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Um, Eastern. Yes. Sorry. I get, I'm all, I'm, we have a totally new time zone here. So I'm always messing up the time zone. So it's 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, <laughs> yes, you can. And Jason, I just put that in. 8 Eastern here. 8 Eastern. Sorry. 8 Eastern. Yes. I just looked at April 9th and I nine was in my head. So eight Eastern. Um, so yeah, Jen, do you have anything else that you wanted to close up with? If you, uh, if you could close off on one thing to say to all the start folks, what would you say? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I just wrote in the chat, like get out there and share this amazing gift because people don't know what they don't know. And you guys have been introduced to an incredible, incredible gift that could change lives and especially today's young people because you are our, new, our next generation and I'm so excited for you guys to be the example of success to show people that this works and that this is the new way this is the new lifestyle this is the business of the 21st century um, and thank you for being here and having the courage to say yes and to believing that you are in the right place at the right time with the right company the right compensation plan and the right product so congratulations um get out there i can't wait to see all of you guys at our next event and to share this gift with the world <laughs>
Thank you so much, Jen. It's been amazing. Thank you everyone for hopping on. And Tina, I'll turn it over to you and you can get everyone ready for the screenshot. Okay, you guys, those of you that are hiding, if you're decent, you're wearing clothing and you're <laughs> want to show your gorgeous faces, jump out. We'll do a quick group shot here. Oh, look at those faces. Look at all these guys. Come on out. Ready? Oh, there we go. They're coming. Come on, Brenda, Alex, Natasha. There we go. Phoenix. Phoenix looks like he's on, but I think that's just a really cool picture. It is. You guys, ready? One, two, three. Woohoo! You guys are the best. Thank you. Thanks, Jen, and thank you, Allison. And you guys, let's give it up for Kim. First time hosting and totally freaking rocked it. Yay, yeah, Kim! Yay! Love you <laughs> thank guys. you, everyone. Have an amazing week. We'll see you guys next week. Don't Bye, miss everybody. Thanks for having me. Bye.